Y'all, we have an unbelievable opportunity today. We're touring a property with over 6,700 square feet in Golden, Colorado, just 30 minutes outside of Denver. It's a five bedroom, four bathroom property. It sits on almost 1.5 acres. I'm clearly excited. Y'all, let's go. What's up everybody, Jarrell Young here with Better Homes and Garden Real Estate, Kenny and Company. Today, if you guys knew where I was at, you'd be just as excited as I am. We are in the subdivision called Genesee, which is, I mean, there's two, three, five, seven million dollar properties out here. So with this property being priced under two million, this is an opportunity, it's not only a steal, but if you have the right mind, the right ideas when it comes to this, you can gain so much equity. But I'm getting rained on, so let's take it inside. All right, as you walk into the property, one of the first things you're gonna be greeted with is the grand entryway. I mean, you have handrails that have the balusters that take you all the way up to the second floor. But not only that, I mean, you have immediately, looking straight out, you have these gigantic windows that show you Mount Evans and Grace Peak. But before we get into any of that, I wanna highlight this floor. As you can see, there's so many natural tones that are inside of the tile of this floor. And you're gonna see those same tones repeated all throughout this property from the inside to the outside. And it just highlights how custom this house actually is. I feel like this house is just made to entertain, especially with this space over here. We'll get to that in just one second. But I wanted you to take a look at this space right here. I mean, you have your beam grid-like ceiling over here. And I just can imagine someone having a formal dining room in this area, or this being a space to where you can just entertain people as they come in, just have conversations. Matter of fact, let's do this. Can I get like a love seat right here? Can I get a single seat right there, a single seat right there, maybe a rug um, and a table? and then can we extend that flooring out? I think that if we have something like this set up, it sets the tone for the entire property. and just shows, again, how much value can be added to this. Okay, now that we're out of this space, let's head over to this area. Now, again, think entertainment when you're looking at this space. I mean, you have Mount Evans and Gray's Peak just outside the window. People are gonna walk in and immediately see that and be wowed. But I think that if you can capitalize on this space and utilizing this space to make a statement, the whole property changes its identity. I mean, I, I can imagine just having like a longer table here to be able to house guests, you know, host events, things like that. But then also the benefit of this space is that you have a deck right outside. So if people just want to take a breath of fresh air, just want to get away for a second, they can step outside and have their own little retreat over there. Now, coming back to this space, this area has surround sound already built into it. One thing that's almost like impossible to miss in this house is this floor to ceiling fireplace and the detail that's put into it. Again, I mentioned earlier about the natural tones that you see. It's complemented here as well. As a matter of fact, I believe these stones are the same stones you see outside. So again, the customization, the integrity, the intentionality of this builder is shown all throughout this property. Now, at some point, you have to live your regular life. You can't entertain your entire life. Um, you have to be able to sit down, take a deep breath, watch some TV. And that's exactly what this side of the fireplace allows you to be able to do. So it's again, already pre-wired for surround sound, and it's gonna have a big enough mount to where you see it can fit a 55, 65, 95, really however big of a TV that you need to put here, it can. But again, also being able to have like a nice couch set up here. I mean, I can imagine if we can go wood floor that would match in this area or would be good in this area. Uh, let's go like maybe a love seat here, an actual like three seater couch here, and like maybe like an ottoman right there in the middle. I feel like this would be a conducive use to this space. And then if you need to eat food or anything like that, you have a nice little nook area over here to where you can put like a circular table underneath the lights as you look outside and enjoy your morning breakfast. All right, so now we're in my favorite room of every house I've ever been in, the kitchen. And this is no exception. First, look at how gigantic this island is. I love the size of it, just in general. Two, it has electricity to it, so I love that as well. But three, the natural tones that you see here are complemented not only just throughout the house, but as well as this kitchen. I mean, this French country inspired kitchen shows so much history, texture, all those different types of things. But being honest, I do think it needs a little bit of updating. So I can imagine having, you know, black cabinets or just luxury cabinets in here as well. And I think that would just make this area just pop. Okay, we're currently on the second floor and we're not gonna be up here for a really long time. You have bedrooms two and three of the five up here. They actually share a bathroom here, so this could work for 
two different offices if you need to, or if you have kids and you want them to be able to have their own space, but they don't need their own bathrooms each, you can have two rooms, bathroom there. But I wanted to take a second to highlight two things. One, again, the intentionality of this builder being able to have this floor to, legit floor to ceiling fireplace that goes all the way up here. I mean, even the railing goes into the stone here, but also look at the view from the second floor. Just a few steps away from the front door, you have your entrance to your personal office, but you also have your primary living space. You have solid wood, six panel doors. Again, you still have your larger ceilings. I wouldn't, they're not 20 foot ceilings, but they're probably, I'm saying 15 foot ceilings that you have inside this space. And it's overall, it's a great space. You have double sided fireplace that services not only the primary, but also the primary bathroom. But you also have, again, those same mountain views directly from your bed. The icing on the cake in the situation is, again, you have surround sound in this room specifically, but also you have the thermostat right here. So just in case you want to make sure that you're warmer than everyone else in the house, you got full control here. Now, even though we're having some fun like that, I do really want you to imagine this space. So can we have wood floors come back out again? Can I have a king size bed put here? Let's go with like a nice little, uh, was it nice little blanket on the side of this right here, but kind of showing what this space could be. Um, let's actually go with a little darker tone, like maybe like a gray tone on the wall and see what that space looks like. Okay, so here we are on the other side of that wall, right? This is the primary bathroom and it's salmon on salmon on salmon on salmon in here. Um, so let's make some quick upgrades so that way you can see what this space could actually look like. So let's change the color of this tile that's around this bathtub. I truly don't care which color you put, but give me something different there. I do want, again, another different type of tile design on the flooring here. And let's match the tile from over near the bathtub to this tile over here. And then if we can't update these cabinets to make these just a little bit more modern. I think this space now gives us a better idea of how someone with the right idea, someone with the right intention, someone with the right budget can come in here and change this room to look like. Now, one more thing before we go is I want you to take a look outside these windows right now. Look at how green it is out there. Again, it's a little overcast today, but look at just how beautiful that view is. Being able to come home, take a rest in the bathtub and enjoy what is Colorado. All right, so as promised, we saved the best for last. We are in the basement. I absolutely love this space. I mean, first off, I love these lights going down the steps. I'm clumsy, I will fall. So the more lighting I have, the better. Um, but also, again, you see how this custom wet bar is set up as of right now. Now, it might be a little small. You might wanna make some renovations to this space. And I think that would be a good idea. But what a blessing it is to already have the water installed and you see this is a full-size refrigerator it's not one of those little mini fridges so you can have a full fridge down here so with the right eyes and the right implementation this whole space can be transformed and again add so much value to your entertainment experience speaking of that let's go over here can you actually change this floor to like that wood floor or even just a different color carpet um but what i wanted to highlight here is this almost sits as an entertainment space by itself Again, some people might want to put a couch here. They might want to put, you know, a TV up there, but I can only think about me and my family at this moment. And so I can imagine my kids singing karaoke, right? And then you have like the little seats and it's almost like a little amphitheater by itself. But if you want to put a couch, I mean, shoot, put a couch right there, put a nice little ottoman right there. If you can't put a TV up there, it's got surround sound already. The wood beams that you saw earlier are complemented down here. I mean, you can do so much with this space to where people could come down here not only feel welcomed, but actually want to stay a while. Now, before we leave out of this space, this also could be a good use for multiple level living. So there's another two bedrooms that are down here as well. Having that kitchen there, this doesn't have to be an entertaining or karaoke thing if you don't want to do that. But this could also serve as a secondary living room to where there's peace, quietness, all that type of stuff separate from the main level. Again, even if you're focused on your business, you actually do have a private office here as well. So again, every space in the house has its own little carved out area for people to be able to work or just have some time to take care of themselves. All right, so we normally don't talk about storage spaces and properties, but as you see, this space is pretty gigantic. And so if you wanted to put a gym in here, you could. I think about my kids wanting to tumble and all that kind of stuff, that'll work in here also. 
but you can also even take the same space and build that movie theater that you've always been planning on doing. I mean, you have so many opportunities in order to add value to the house by what you do with this space. All right, y'all, that's it. That is the tour. But I wanna know from you, what is your favorite part of the property? Was it the kitchen? Was it the primary? Was it the storage area downstairs? Was it the basement in total? Or was it just the special effects and being able to change the color of this to something else? You guys let me know.